Have you ever wanted to data merge to a JPEG or PNG? It's not an option. Only PDF. And even then, it lumps all the records into a single PDF. Each record its own file would be better. You could merge records one by one, then export each however you like. But that has other problems. For one, it doesn't load the document fonts folder. Besides, for a lot of records, merging and exporting one at a time is tedious. I made a script to help. Data Merge Export. I'll show the script in Windows. It works the same on Mac OS. I have an example document open. Something simple. Two images and a few text placeholders. And one special text placeholder. Output file. This is an extra column added to the CSV for the output file name and location. More about that in a moment. For data merge to see the special placeholder, it has to be on the page. But likely, you don't want it to print. There are two ways around this. Easiest is make a text frame and set alignment to bottom. Then start the text frame on the bottom edge and have it hang off the page. Like I've done here. Then it doesn't appear on the final output. The other solution is make the text frame non-printing. Go to the Window menu, Output, Attributes. With the text frame selected, check Non-Printing. Now let's look at the CSV. Everything is as you'd expect for a data merge. Columns for text and columns for images with the at symbol prefix except there's one extra column for output file. This is the full path to where the script outputs the file. But don't add the at symbol prefix, which you might think to because it's a file path. Don't. This column needs to be text. Also, don't add an extension. The script takes care of that based on the choice of format in the output section. The advantage of this approach is each record output can go to a different location, and each with a unique name. Or not. All can go to the same folder if you like. Your choice. But if the same folder, they at least need different names. Either way, in each row under this column, enter the full path and name desired. Back in InDesign, open the Scripts panel. I already have the script installed in InDesign. For help adding scripts to InDesign, see the link in the description for another video that shows the steps. In the list, select Data Merge Export. Double-click to run it. First, select the Data Merge field for the output full path and file name. In this example, Output File. This may be named however you like in the CSV. Whatever the column name, choose it here. The section Options, ignore for now. I'll explain that in a bit. Next, choose the format to output. Unlike regular data merge, this isn't limited to PDF. Options are JPEG, PDF Interactive, PDF Print, and PNG. The options for each should be familiar. All work the same as the normal InDesign export options. I'll output print PDFs. Once everything is set, click OK. And the script gets to work. Each row of the CSV is merged, then output in the selected format at the location specified in the extra column for output file. The result is three PDFs, one for each record. But there's a problem. Some of the fonts used are not in the system, only in the Document Fonts folder. When InDesign makes a merged copy of the document for output, 
it doesn't read the document fonts folder, not unless saved in the original folder and opened again. So I added that option to the script. We'll try it again, but this time enable the option. Now the document fonts are loaded. Keep in mind, to save each merged record and open it adds to processing time. For best performance, load the needed fonts into the system and disable this option. On the other hand, you may want copies of the merged documents. If so, enable the option and the additional option to keep the documents. And there are the merged documents. Now let's try something more complex. A multi-page document, which data merge on its own struggles to get right. This is eight pages saddle stitch. The variable data is the images and captions. Only two variations to keep it simple. I'll use data merge and export to PDF. As usual, the two versions are lumped into a single PDF. But more is odd. The marker for current page number doesn't resolve correctly. After page 1 are pages 2 and 3. But 4 and 5 are also 2 and 3. And again, data merge never advances past page 3. I have no idea why. The script doesn't have that problem. The result is a separate PDF for each version, and the pages are numbered correctly. One last thing. Suppose you want printer spreads of these. This example is only two versions, but what if there are hundreds? Make the merge document printer spreads to begin with. I have another script for that. Printer spreads. I'll run it on the merge document. And the actual InDesign document is rearranged to become printer spreads, with all data merge fields still intact. Now run the data merge export script. And you have printer spreads ready to go. Pages 8 and 1, 2 and 7, 6 and 3, and the center spread. 4 and 5. Two versions or 200. Get the script at the link in the description. Like this video and subscribe. Also, leave a comment. All feedback is welcome. Click the video or playlist on screen for more. Thank you for watching.